Welcome back to Drug Talk, everybody. In today's video, I want to quickly go over three things that you should know before using Lexapro or Escitalopram. The first thing to let you know is that it typically takes some time to experience maximum benefit with medications like Lexapro. In general, you should notice some effect of the medication in one to two weeks, but it could take up to four to six weeks or even longer in some instances to really realize that maximum benefit, which in this case could be a increase in mood or a reduction of anxiety. For this reason, it's important to give Lexapro or Escitalopram a fair chance and not to stop the medication due to lack of effect in the early stages, which again could be that anxiety or mood changes. Having said that though, some patients will need to stop the medication in the early stages due to side effects of the medication. The second thing that you should be aware of is that Lexapro or Escitalopram may cause an increase in anxiety just for the first couple weeks until your body gets used to the medication. Some physicians choose to prescribe benzodiazepines such as lorazepam or clonazepam just for the first one or two weeks because of that anxiety that could come upon initiation of the medication. This effect of Lexapro subsides over time, so again, like the first point, it's really important to use this medication more long term to give it a fair chance and see if it's the right medication for you. Having said that though, of course, if the medication is too intense, it's important to notify your physician right away and make a plan to change your regimen. And the final thing I'd like to let you know is that if you do choose to stop this medication at any point during your therapy, it's important not to stop the medication abruptly, but to meet with your physician and make a plan to taper off the medication slowly. Stopping Lexapro abruptly can cause the following withdrawal symptoms. Irritability, nausea or feeling dizzy, vomiting, nightmares or headaches, or some people may experience the sensation of a tingling in their skin. You should also be aware that in some cases, withdrawal symptoms may not occur in patients until months after stopping the therapy. So the main point here is just to keep your physician informed with your decision if you do choose to stop it and make a plan for discontinuation. And that's all we're going to talk about today with three things you should know before using Lexapro or Escitalopram. Take care.